This is a video reviewer for the PLM admission test, or PLMAT. This is PLMAT reviewer number 2, featuring questions in mathematics. There are 15 questions featured in this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous PLMATs. Before you proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click the bell icon to make sure you are notified of all new reviewers and other important updates. Let's begin. Question number one. Arithmetic and basic operations. What is the sum of 1.25, 2.5, and 3.75? A. 6.5 B. 7.5 C. 8.5 D. 9.5 The correct answer is, of course B. 7.5. This is a very simple arithmetic problem involving very basic operations. The important thing to remember when you encounter very simple problems like this is that you need to very quickly solve it and move on to the next problem. Test makers use simple problems like this to test how fast you can do your basic arithmetic operations. As such, the test maker probably allocated just a few seconds for you to solve it. Spend too much time on it and you will probably suffer the consequence by running out of time in later more complicated problems. You should be able to mentally solve this so that's what you should do. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. Add to it the 0 0.25 and 0 0.75, so that's 7. And finally add the 0 0.5 and you get 7.5. That's it. You should not have spent more than 5 seconds to arrive at your correct answer. Let's move on. Question number 2. Time and distance problem. A car travels 60 km per hour. How far does it travel in 3.5 hours? A. 180 km. B. 200 km. C. 210 km. D 220 kilometers. The correct answer is C, 210 kilometers. This is another very simple math problem. Although it involves time and distance, it is actually just a basic operation problem using multiplication. Of course you need to know your basic time, distance, and speed formula, which is. Speed equals distance over time. We are given the speed and time, and we are asked for the speed, so we can simply rearrange the formula into. Distance equals speed times time. Substitute then multiply the given values and quickly arrive at 210 km as the answer. Again, take note that the key here is solving the problem very quickly and moving on. If you know and are confident with your speed time distance formula you should be able to quickly discern the solution as soon as you read the problem, and do mental math for your basic multiplication operation. All within a few seconds. Question number 3. Algebra. Simplify, 3x plus 5x minus 4. A, 8x minus 4. B, 7x minus 4. C, 8x. D, 7x plus 4. The correct answer is A, 8x minus 4. This is a very basic algebra problem, one that you can also solve using mental math. You should already know the answer as soon as you finish reading the problem. Simply combine like terms, that is, add 3x and 5x and you have your answer, 8x minus 4. Question number 4. Another algebra problem. Solve for x in, 2x plus 7 equals 15. A. x equals 4. B. x equals 6. C. x equals 7. D. x equals 8. The correct answer is A x equals 4. This is yet another very simple algebra problem so make sure you don't take too much time in solving it. Step 1, subtract 7 from both sides. You arrive at 2x equals 8. Step 2, divide both sides by 2, and you already have your correct answer, which is x equals 4. Question number 5. Still algebra. Factorize. x squared minus 9. A the quantity x minus 3, times the quantity x plus 3. b, the quantity x plus 3, times the quantity x plus 3. c, the quantity x minus 3, times the quantity x minus 3. d, cannot be factored. The correct answer is a, the quantity x minus 3, times the quantity x plus 3. 
This is called difference of squares. Whenever you encounter a quadratic expression in the form a squared minus b squared, you know you are dealing with a difference of squares problem. The difference of squares theorem states that the difference between two squares can be factored into the product of the sum and the difference of the two terms. In our given problem, x squared and 9 are both perfect squares so we have here a difference of squares problem. To factor, we simply apply the difference of squares formula. x squared minus 9 is factorized as, the quantity x minus 3, times the quantity x plus 3. Question number 6. Geometry. What is the perimeter of a rectangle with length of 12 cm and width of 5 cm? A. 24 cm. B. 30 cm. C. 34 cm. D. 36 cm. The correct answer is C. 34 cm. This is another very simple math problem that can be quickly solved using mental math. But first you need to know what a perimeter is, and what is the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. In geometry, the perimeter of a two-dimensional shape is defined as the total length of its boundary. It is the sum of the lengths of all the sides or edges of a geometric figure. For a rectangle, the formula for perimeter is 2 times the sum of its length and width. Substituting the given values for length and width, you should quickly arrive at 34 centimeters as the correct answer. Question number 7. Another geometry problem. What is the area of a triangle with base of 10 centimeters and height of 6 centimeters? A. 30 square centimeters. B. 60 square centimeters. C. 90 square centimeters. D. 120 square centimeters. The correct answer is A. 30 square centimeters. The formula for the area of a triangle, any triangle, is 1 half of its base times its height. If you know the formula, it is just a matter of substituting the given values of the triangle's base and height, you should quickly arrive at 30 square centimeters as the correct answer. Question number 8. Word problem. The sum of two numbers is 45. If one number is 20, what is the other number? A. 15. B. 20. C. 25. D. 30. The correct answer is C, 25. Let the other number be x. Now let's write the algebraic equation from the word problem. The sum of two numbers is 45, with one number being 20, and the other number being x. Therefore, x plus 20 equals 45. From here it's just a matter of simplifying the equation to arrive at 25 as the other number. Question number 9. Another word problem. If a worker can complete a task in 8 hours, how much of the task can they complete in 3 hours? A. 1 third. B. 3 over 8. C. 2 fifths. D. 1 half. The correct answer is B. 3 over 8. This word problem is about work completion. Let's break it down. If a worker can complete a task in 8 hours, then the work done in 1 hour by the same worker must be 1 eighth of an hour and the work done in 3 hours by the same worker, and assuming there is only one worker is, 3 times 1 eighth of an hour, or 3 over 8 of an hour. Question number 10. Statistics. Find the mean of 12, 15, 18, and 21. A. 15.5. B. 16. C. 16.5. D. 18. The correct answer is C, 16.5. This is a very basic, and simple, statistics problem. But you need to know and recall the definition and formula for mean in order to solve it. The statistical mean is simply the arithmetic average of a given set of numbers. So to find the mean of a set of numbers is simply to compute for their average. In our given problem, we simply compute the average of 12, 15, 18, and 21, and arrive at 16.5 as the correct answer. Question number 11. Problem solving. If 3x minus 2 equals 10, what is 2x plus 5? A. 13. B. 14. C. 16. D. 18. The correct answer is A. 
13. First, solve for x in 3x minus 2 equals 10. You should get x equals 4. Then substitute x equals 4 into 2x plus 5. You should quickly arrive at 13 as the correct answer. Question number 12. Problem solving. Exponents. What is 2 cubed times 3 squared? A. 72. B. 54. C. 36. D. 18. The correct answer is A. 72. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 8 times 9 is 72. You can actually solve this using mental math. Question number 13. Algebra. If 5x plus 3 equals 23, what is the value of x? A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 6. The correct answer is B. 4. From the equation, 5x plus 3 equals 23, solve for x. First, subtract 3 from both sides. Then, divide both sides by 5. You now have your correct answer, x equals 4. Question number 14. Geometry. A square has a side length of 8 centimeters. What is its area? A. 32 square centimeters. B. 64 square centimeters. C. 48 square centimeters. D. 72 square centimeters. The correct answer is B. 64 square centimeters. You just need to know the formula for the area of a square and you can proceed to very quickly solve this problem. The area of a square is, of course, the square of its side. And since the length of its side is given as 8 centimeters, you simply square it to get the area, which is 64 square centimeters. Question number 15. Word problem. A bookstore sells pens at 15 pesos each. If you have 153 pesos, how many pens can you buy? A. 9 B. 10 C. 10.2 D. 11 The correct answer is B. 10. This is another word problem that can be easily and quickly solved using mental math. To find the number of pens you can buy, simply divide the amount of money you have by the price of each pen. Dividing 153 by 15 will give you 10.2 but 10.2 cannot be the correct answer since you cannot buy a fraction of a pen. You can only buy 10 pens, so the correct answer is 10. By now you should have noticed that almost all mathematics questions in the PL met involve very basic and simple problems. You just need to know your basic math concepts and formulas and you should be okay. The key is speed in solving the problems as you will probably be given very little time to complete them. You will need to review your basic math concepts, memorize your formulas, and practice solving as many math problems as you can. You have just watched a PL Math Reviewer, featuring questions in mathematics. Check out more related review videos and playlists on our channel. If you find this useful, please like and share. Leave a comment to share your thoughts or questions regarding this reviewer or any particular part of it. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to Review Central and click the bell button to get notified of all future reviewers and updates. Like and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. Good luck to your forthcoming PLM admission test and we look forward to your fruitful and fun time as a PLM A year at AHA Reban.